In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Boolean operations in AutoCAD to either join, subtract, or create intersections of solid shapes. First, we'll take a look at the ability to join. Let's say that I have a couple of sketches here, and what I want this to be is a rectangular shape with a cylinder on top of it. So I'm going to extrude my rectangle up a distance of four here to begin with. And then I'm also going to extrude the circular shape up. This time I will go up six. So here you can see, after I've extruded these, I actually have two separate solids. I can even move this one away and you can see that the full cylinder exists inside of the rectangular prism. This is actually not what I want. I want it to be one solid object. If I went to wireframe or showed hidden lines, then we would actually see some lines inside that rectangular prism. So not what I'm wanting. I want to go ahead and join these into one part. And we do that with the union tool. So here on the home tab in the solid editing panel are my three Boolean operations. And the first one is union. I'll select union, select the solids that I want to be joined into one and press enter. And you can actually see the seam change here a little bit and it's now one selectable solid part. If I change to wireframe, there are no longer lines for the cylinder inside the part here. Let's see that instead what I wanna do is create a rectangular prism with a hole in it. I'll go ahead and extrude my initial prism again here. And then I'm going to extrude the cylindrical shape. I extruded the box a distance of four. So as long as I extrude at least four, I'll be able to cut this out. So I could type in a value of four. I could type in a larger value, or a lot of times I'll just extrude up randomly just so that I know it's far enough that it's cutting through the box completely. Then I will use the subtract tool. So once again, back here in the solid editing panel, the second button is subtract. When I choose the command, the command line is telling me to select the objects I want to subtract from. So I'm going to select this prism and then press enter. Then it asks which objects I actually want to subtract. So I'll select my cylinder and press enter. And now you can see that I've created the cut shape. The third and final Boolean operation is intersection. So here I have two shapes that overlap each other and I want to keep just the area inside that is shared by both the rectangle and the circle. So once again, I'll go ahead and extrude these shapes. This time I'll just extrude them both at the same time, say a distance of four. Then in my solid editing panel, I will choose the intersect tool, select both of my shapes and press enter. And as you can see, it kept only the area that was shared by both of those shapes. So three different types of Boolean operations, union to join parts together, subtract to cut things out, and intersect to find the intersection between two solid shapes. That concludes this look at Boolean operations in AutoCAD.